love peace the light and blessings gemini welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome on in my name is jazz if you're one of my a1 day one subscribers shout out to you spiritual gangsters you original souls this is going to be a collective messages from the ancestors for the sign of gemini so if you have gemini in your sun moon rising or venus placements these messages should could or would apply to you Please only take what resonates with your intuition and leave the rest behind. Please also don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you find as though my content resonates with your soul, let's tap in, Gemini. Let's see what's good with we'll C for your month of November. I love when y'all can see the cards. There we go. Ancestors, what's the overall energy for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Water my dreams. Oof. Dreams are real. And all you have to do is just believe. <laughs> so the card, okay, what well the ancestors say, dreams are real, Gemini. And all you have to do, literally, all to play your part is believe in your dreams. That's it. It could be so simple. It could all be so simple, y'all. We realize that the only part that we have to play in the dream process is believing in ourselves. Because the belief in ourselves is the water that brings the uh, plant to life or brings the dream to life, right? It's the belief that's powerful here, Gemini. So there was a time and a place in your life where I feel like your belief showed and proved that dreams come as long as you believe that you deserve them, you're worthy of them. That is the water. That's how you bring them into fruition. That's how you they bear fruit. But some somehow, somewhere along the way, the belief that you've had in a dream of yours, it has diminished. Or it's not as strong as it once was. And I feel like the results surrounding the, the dream now are also not as strong as it once was so you've been wondering what has changed what has went wrong it's the belief the belief you once had in your dream was how you watered that shit and watched so much fruit bear from that tree and as the belief withered so did the dream and so did the fruit so you are tapping back into just how much you believe in yourself this month. Because once you start to believe again, you do start to water your harvest, your seeds that you've sown. It does start to produce once more. It says, all I desire is on its way to me. But like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. You can't make this shit up. Reading over. It says, my belief, <laughs> okay? And determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at perfect time. So I was saying belief. That's what the ancestors were saying. But it's the combination of belief and determination. Determination is perseverance without seeing, seeing anything that makes you feel worthy of persevering. Okay, you are determined because you believe just that damn much that you're supposed to be doing something, that you're supposed to have something, that the universe owes you something, that you, whatever it is. Sometimes you guys are looking for that inspiration or that motivation or whatever it is that you used to have towards your dreams and it's truly just attached to how bad do you still want it? If you still want it, is it something else that you may want now? Because as long as you're passionate about something, the belief towards that passion is how you amplify it. That's how you communicate it with the universe. So I encourage everybody to go where the passion is because then you don't have to truly worry about how much you believe in it. But has the passion changed here at all, Gemini? It's something to consider. Has the dream changed here at all, Gemini? It is truly something to consider because somewhere along the way, the belief and the determination has changed. Let's get this. Let's get another message, ancestors. What else would you like to say to Gemini, Sun, Moon? Okay, that was too much. That was too much. 
What else would you like to say to Gemini? Tira came out for you, Gemini. For one, let's get into this depiction. She's gorgeous, all right? But her message says brazen or brazen, and I have no clue what that is. So we're going to learn today. Nevertheless, I just feel like this is a time to celebrate. When you look at her, she just looks like she's dancing like nobody's watching. You hear me? moving her hips to the sound of her own beat and i just feel like this is a time for you to celebrate living your life as if nobody's fucking opinion matters right now i don't know why she's just giving like it don't matter who's in the village she's in her own world because she's created it she's created it so she's living it but i just heard dance like nobody's watching and, and move to the sound of your own beat here. And it's crazy because it is a little train back there. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I heard the little engine that could. Okay? Move to the sound of your own beat, Gemini. Because that's the, that's the beat that's going to get you to where you want to go. And that, that beat might not sound like everybody else's. But who cares? I just feel like that's where you need to be. It's the sound of your own beat. All right, so she is a Guyana goddess of brazenness. Goddess Cetira is the energy and spirit of Buxton in Guyana, South America. Cetira is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced, casting a spell with her hips. I felt that dance. I definitely did. That came through in imagery. So her guidance to you is step up, go for it partner with the divine to make brazen choices and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you all who mean you harm fall away your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source so it says make the brazen decision what would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail it is brazen to be unapologetically you it is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room it is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. Goddess force energy is brazen. So apparently, being brazen is being bold, brave, shameless, and apparently authentic. Like I was saying, dancing to the beat of your own drum. I just feel like opinions are like assholes, Gemini. And this is a month where you just going to realize that the only one that matters is the one that you have of yourself, who you choose to, to, uh, be friends with, who you choose to love here, who, you, what career you choose to work here. As long as that's the beat of your drum, dance, my nigga, dance. As long as that makes you feel good and sound and, and whole, it doesn't matter. What anybody else feels about it. And that's, let's get another uh, <laughs> message. So I feel like some of y'all are, are going to do things that make you happy. But it's going to wind up pissing some people off. Or some people may not like it. Or it, it's just none of your business. It ain't none of their business either. You following your dreams and you doing what makes you happy. That's all that matters. Or that's at least all that should matter. And if people genuinely love you, they will learn how to get in wherever they fit in, in the midst of your pursuit of happiness, Gemini. And if they can't show up for you, they would leave you in the midst of your pursuit of happiness. Because as long as you are pursuing your happiness, decisions that you make in the midst of that pursuit, real ones will respect it. So those who are offended by your individuality here or you dancing to the beat of your own drum they can lay down and stay down they really can they really could 
They don't have to be here because it's other people that actually like it here with you. So they don't have to invite themselves to the party. They don't. They really don't. I encourage y'all this month to really dance to the beat of your own drum. Because you walking in that authentic energy is like... You beginning to believe in yourself more. I feel like you are tapping into some type of confidence. You are overcoming some type of self-esteem issue and insecurity as well as a result of this. And then you're deepening the belief that you once had towards your passion and your creative projects. Ancestors, let's get another message for Gemini. What else would you like to say to Gemini? So y'all called the moon cycles. I just heard um going in circles round and round and why you're doing me so wrong. I just keep holding you down. All right. So I do feel like you guys are starting to realize where you went wrong. You guys are starting to realize why something keeps repeating itself just like the cycles of the moon. It's inevitable. It just keeps repeating itself. It's probably a situation that just keeps repeating itself through different people here as well. It don't matter if you get away from the person. You can't get away from the problem because the problem is attached to the cycle. And the cycle needs to be learnt, Gemini. <laughs> you can't get away from this cycle because you haven't overstood the problem that's attached to the cycle and i feel like it's just like a light bulb moment goes off for you this month either why you've been dealing with something ongoing why you've been dealing with something year after year with person after person possibly here or circumstance after circumstance they all look repetitive in by nature and you're wondering why it's because there is something within that cycle that still has a stronghold on you spirit does not allow us to graduate prematurely you gotta get the grade and i feel like you guys either are getting the grade have got the grade and now you're finally realizing like this is why the cycle keeps repeating itself and i just heard the saga continue this is why the saga keeps continuing so i do feel this energy of also um moon magic some of you guys whether it be intentionally or unintentionally consciously or subconsciously you guys are manifesting and purging with the moon cycles and i do feel like you if you felt like you know moon cycles have been influential in your spiritual journey i will become more intentional about utilizing them and and um and working with those energies to best benefit your current circumstance or your now moment but nevertheless, I do feel like these cycles, they come in threes and they come in sevens. And whether it be three weeks, three months, three years, seven weeks, seven months, seven years, the, the cycles are here as a way to prepare us for the next cycle. <laughs> the cycles don't ever really leave. So you either going to get stuck in one forever or you're going to journey through them all and pass them all i just heard pokemon gotta catch them all pokemon <laughs> i don't know why i just heard that but gotta catch them all pokemon so you're either gonna stay stuck in one that was just like too hard to pass or you won't catch them all you won't catch all these cycles but some of you guys have been stuck in one and it's been kind of hard to pass you haven't been really seeing the lesson and i feel like you finally get it so ancestors this says water my dreams what dreams is gemini watering i love that message water my dreams honey what dreams is gemini watering What are these dreams? Okay. Oh, well, how about you come out strong, honey? What's up, Gemini? Introduce your shit. Welcome to your reading, okay? So, y'all, I just heard, um... I got a thing for you, baby, you know. Don't want to take it slow. I want to get to know ya. Don't want to play no games, listen to what I'm saying. I got a thing for you. All right. 
y'all low key secretly dream about having love in your life. You can't make this shit up. Somebody really got you feeling lovey dovey. It's very innocent. It is something you can trust. This Six of Cups is very safe. I feel like you guys also aspire to have children with this lover. Guess what the ancestors said, Gemini? Dreams are real. And all you have to do is just believe. Some of you guys have um, let go of some type of dream surrounding your love life, surrounding your family, surrounding your generational wealth. Some of you guys have put that on the back burner. And this month, your ancestors are really encouraging you to give that a little more attention. Put a little more effort towards this person that has your heart. Put a little more effort towards this possible dream of having a family here, breeding with somebody. Seeing what y'all seed would look like together is a low-key dream that you don't allow yourself to feel like you deserve to have or are worthy of when deep down inside that dream, that feeling never leaves you. That feeling never leaves you here, Gemini. So you got to work on why you haven't manifested this yet because it's a feeling on the inside that makes you feel as if you can't give that no love you can't give that no water you can't give that no attention love is attached to your wildest dreams out here a family having children with this lover is attached to your wildest dreams but as you've been pursuing your dreams you remove this attachment not realizing that the dream is unfulfilled if this ain't in it you've convinced yourself that you didn't deserve this when in all actuality the universe is encouraging you to go get it. Clarify this brazen energy. Goddess to Tara. What is Gemini being brazen about? Okay. The king of pentacles. So I do feel like finances. I just feel like y'all are really putting y'all foot down about finances or something um, unexpected is happening surrounding your stability. Clarify the King of Pentacles. What is he doing? What is the King of Pentacles doing? Yeah. What's up, Leo? Introduce show shit. Welcome to the reading. I feel like the King of Pentacles is really, really trying to resist. This King of Pentacles has been resisting. I feel like what that tells me is some of you guys don't realize just how much finances puts a stronghold between you and all of your dreams and your aspirations. Some of you guys wait for this moment where you feel like you have enough, where you feel like it's time, where you feel like you're ready, not realizing that that was today and yesterday and the day before that. The universe gave you everything that it felt like you needed, even if you didn't see the plate being full right, right in front of you. Some of you guys have been resisting pursuing your passions and your creative endeavors because you just feel like the season and you just feel like the now moment is not conducive for that. But the reality of it is sometimes the ancestors want to see you do it without what you feel like you need just so it gets done. And then they provide everything you felt like you need just so you could prove to yourself that you could do without it. Even if you know that you need it. The fact of the matter is you can do without something. I don't know what, what the fuck I just said. I really don't. That's, that was just channeled. I really don't know what I just said. Do without it. Something, something. Because you know you need it. They're trying to see if you could do without it. I don't know what I just said, Gemini. Clarify this. The moon... What are these cycles? What are these cycles? Going in circles. Round and round and round. You're doing me so wrong. You just keep holding me down. What are these cycles about? What are these cycles about? The King of Wands. 
and the six of pentacles i just feel like there's been a lack of reciprocation involved in these cycles there could be a divine masculine energy um and there's this unequal give and take here and i do feel like this divine masculine keeps going through the same exact thing these imbalanced cycles these cycles that result in imbalances in their friendships and their relationships what is the king of wands doing within these cycles yep you got the nine of swords and the ten of cups that's commitment phobia so i do feel like in regards to emotional fulfillment having a family starting a family it's the king of wands biggest fear it gives this man anxiety the thought of that alone gives them anxiety they know for a fact that in order for the ten of cups to happen in their life it's a lot of changes and transformations with that scorpio introduce your shit that they have to do surrounding their psyche surrounding their mental stability because there's something about their biggest fear being commitment and that keeps them in a loophole it keeps them in a cycle here and i do feel like commitment phobia right now is um what you guys are going to realize or any type of fear surrounding settling down or having a family is what you guys are going to realize is what's keeping you stuck in this same loophole in this same time loop in the same cycle going through the same thing with a different person it's something it's a big ass fear surrounding somebody having your heart somebody having your children somebody having 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 you shit it's a big ass fear here gemini ancestors what's the closing message for gemini sun moon rising and venus please what is the closing message it says ask and you shall receive i see prayers going up right now for gemini's it says ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So this is all about that law of free will. If you really want your spiritual team to intervene, you must, thy must give per permission. It shows you how much dominion humans have over this plane of existence. Earth is literally like the highest dimension of hell and the lowest dimension of heaven. And that's why there is so much intermingling of demons and angels on this bitch. It's because we have dominion on this bitch. We have both angelic and demonic forces within ourselves through polarities that exist within ourselves. So I say this to say that even when you send prayers up, you also got to give permission for prayers to get answered as well. And if you guys didn't know that, that is the law of free will. So as I pray to the most high, I got to really let the most high know that all of those that work for my highest good, I give permission to act these things out on my behalf. So if you guys felt as though you've been asking and asking, maybe you might have to give permission over the spiritual team to assist because you have that much dominion over your human experience that they can't move unless you give them permission to. I send you love, peace, light, and blessings, Gemini. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my information is down low in the description box below. If you would like to check out the spiritual shop, please feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.